This dominant offense out of the Packers playbook is the perfect scheme for players who want a balanced attack both on the ground and through the air out of one of the most powerful under center formations in the game. This scheme is out of the strong close formation and today we're going to be looking at how we can use it to march up and down the field on our opponents with ease. And if you guys end up liking this scheme, I just dropped an ebook for this offense with a ton of extra setups, video tutorials breaking down every play, detailed diagrams of the read progressions, and a PDF download so you can keep these setups forever, and you can find it along with all my other ebooks over at sprucegoose.gg. Today we were at Lambeau Field taking on the LA Chargers, who between Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa have one of the scariest defensive lines in the league. My opponent came out in nickel 3-3, so I started the game with a halfback dive to take advantage of the huge gaps between his D linemen, and Aaron Jones fought his way for a 5-yard gain. Next I went with the play PA Scissors, and my only adjustment was to put my right side receiver on a streak. While this is a zone beating concept, the corner route from the tight end also beats man coverage, and that's exactly what happened here as Aaron Rodgers was able to connect with Robert Tunyon for a 16-yard pickup. On first and 10, I called the play mesh post, and my only adjustments were to put my right side receiver on a slant and put my tight end on a streak. Once again, this is a setup that can work against both man and zone coverage, but Aaron Jones had absolutely no interest in picking up the blitzing linebacker, and Aaron Rodgers was sacked for a loss of 8 yards. With my opponent playing so much man coverage, I turned to the play double post, which has two excellent man-beating post routes from both receivers receivers, and my only adjustment was to put the tight end on a drag. After the snap, I threw to Alan Lazard right as he made his break, and he cut inside the cornerback to haul in the catch while picking up 16 yards. On third and two, there was no reason to overcomplicate things, so I went back to halfback dive, and Aaron Jones was able to easily pick up another first down. On the next play, I went with wide receiver out, and my only adjustment was to motion out my right side receiver on the curl. After the snap, tight end Robert Tunyon torched his man on the post, but my opponent did a great job of taking it away with his user. I then spotted Christian Watson with a little bit of space on the curl without realizing that cornerback JC Jackson has the acrobat ability, which made the throw an extremely close call. But then Watson stumbled in the wrong direction, and in the end, it was a gain of only three yards. On second down, I went with the play Y trail, and my only adjustment was to motion over the slant. Now the goal here is to look for quick throws to both the slant and the tight end trail route right after they cut inside, and I was able to do exactly that by hitting Lazard on the slant and he took it all the way down to the 19 yard line. With my opponent switching to zone coverage, I went back to PA scissors and put my outside receiver on a streak. I tried checking down to fullback Josiah DeGuara in the flat, but I guess he made a business decision to just let the ball go by. On second and 10, I went back to our mesh post setup from before, but my opponent surprised me by only sending three rushers and blanketing the field with eight players in zone coverage. When this happens, the key is to not panic and don't start dropping super far back like a a lot of players end up doing. Eventually, I was able to find some space to the outside, and all of a sudden, Aaron Rodgers was a dual-threat quarterback as I scrambled with him all the way down to the two-yard line. On the next play, I went with halfback off tackle, and Aaron Jones plowed through the linebacker to give us a 7-0 lead. Now on defense, I was a nickel over while my opponent was using the rarely seen near close flex formation. On first down, he was able to connect with Keenan Allen over the middle for 24 yards, but on the very next play, he tried to force a throw to Austin Eckler on the Texas route, and I stepped in front of it with linebacker Devondre Campbell to put us on offense once again. On first and 10, I went back to wide receiver out with the curl route motioned out like before, and this time against my opponent's zone coverage, Allen Lazard on the curl got in a soft spot between the zones and Rodgers lasered it into him for an easy pickup of 11 yards. On first and 10, I went back to halfback dive and once again my opponent being in nickel 3-3 cost him as Aaron Jones rumbled up the middle for another first down. Next, I went back to double post, but my opponent dropped eight into coverage again, and this time I wasn't able to find any running room and got sacked for a five-yard loss. Then I went back to PA scissors, but my opponent surprised me with a man blitz, and now we are facing a third and 24. At this point, I made a strategic decision to make sure I got into easy field goal range rather than trying to launch a risky throw for the first down, so I went back to wide receiver out and hit Robert Tunyon on the man-beating post route to set up a 45-yard field goal for Mason Crosby, which made it a 10 
10-0 game. Now on my opponent's next drive, he must have really liked what he was seeing in strong close since he decided to call it himself. After running for a solid six yards with Austin Eckler on first down, he switched to single back bunch on second down and squeezed in a quick dot to Keenan Allen up the seam. Then he went back to near close flex and on second and eight, our cover four defense was able to guard everything for long enough that he tried to scramble with Justin Herbert, but he got brought down for an eight yard sack. But my opponent was no slouch, and on third down, he was able to hit this deep out route to Keenan Allen for 15 yards before connecting with tight end Gerald Everett up the seam to get down to the 16-yard line. Jumping ahead a few plays, on first and goal, my opponent made a huge mistake by getting tackled short of the goal line, and with no timeouts remaining, he couldn't stop the clock, and we went to halftime with the score still sitting at 10-0. Desperately needing to get on the scoreboard, on third and two here in the second half, my opponent surprised me with double slants over the middle, and Gerald Everett was able to get the Chargers out to midfield once again. A few plays later on third and six, I sent the nickel over blitz and forced my opponent to throw right at me, but I messed up with the user and it ended up being a completion that got them down to the 32 yard line. But we kept clamping up with cover four and on third and 10, cornerback Razul Douglas in the outside quarter was able to just barely poke the ball away from Keenan Allen. And on fourth down, I sent the blitz once again and this time caught the interception over the middle for Devondre Campbell's second pick of the game. Back on offense, I went back to halfback dive, but this time Aaron Jones was only able to pick up two yards. With my opponent back in man coverage, I went to double post, and with my opponent usering over the middle, I checked down to Robert Tunyon on the drag, who was able to turn it upfield and fight his way to the 48-yard line. Next, I went back to mesh post, and Robert Tunyon ended up getting open on the streak for what should have been a touchdown, but I got nailed by two pass rushers while the right side of my O-line just stood and stared blankly off into space. I ran the exact same setup on the next play, and this time Christian Watson torched his man on the post, hauled in the perfect pass from Rodgers, and took it all the way for the 48-yard touchdown. On my opponent's next drive, he was able to get across midfield again before we started completely locking him down. On first and 10, he tried to scramble with Herbert, but got brought down for a 14-yard loss, and on second down, defensive end Rashawn Gary came in completely unblocked for another sack to make it third and 38. At that point, my opponent was pretty much toast, and on 4th and 38, he took yet another sack to essentially end his chances in the game. Just needing to run out the clock, I went to Aaron Jones one more time on halfback dive, and he burst up the middle for the 24-yard touchdown, and with that, my opponent was officially out. It was an extremely efficient day for Aaron Rodgers, who ended up going 8 of 10 passing for 146 yards and a touchdown, while Aaron Jones led the team on the ground with two rushing touchdowns of his own. So if you want a balanced under center attack, capable of pounding the rock on the ground and dotting up your opponent through the air, then strong close out of the Packers playbook just may be the scheme for you. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next video for another scheme breakdown.